Hey everyone, day 19 of testing the no baking soda free deodorant. This is Nandi with Nandi's Naturals here to take you through the ropes, let you know what's going on as far as it goes. It is, let me just say, today has been a really hot day, but there was something beautiful for, uh, you know, that happened today. And I mean, sometimes you got to take the small things, especially when you're a mother and you know, you've got a whole lot of children, you know, these, <laughs> you know, you, you got to count those, you got to take those little things and run with it. My family, well, let's just say the people in my house have this tendency to go to the grocery store and spend three upwards of $3 and 50 cent for a loaf of unbread. And that's what I call the majority of the bread that's found in these grocery stores. Cause it, I mean, it's just so many ridiculous things added to them that don't need to be there and you know are really not that great for your health so I found what I what we call in Louisiana the bread store I found one of those discount bakery stores where you can go in there and get the type of bread you know whatever the manufacturer is in this case it's the nature's own that it seems honey wheat especially that it seems that my family likes to eat so I went in there and I actually found it for a dollar thirty nine loaf so I walked out of there with three loaves today, basically paying what I normally pay for one loaf at the grocery store. And let me tell you, when I spend that money at the grocery store, that's usually because they have called me or they have, when, when I get ready to walk out of the house, could you please, please get a loaf of bread? Because I will walk right past it. I have been on strike from paying that much for a loaf of unbread. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous to pay that much for it and it doesn't last that long. And if you've got people in the house and they're eating like three and four loaves of that in a week at $3.50 a pop, that, that begins to add up if you add that up over the course of a month. I mean, I'm not going to even stand here and do the math because for one, we don't have time for it. But what I wanted to talk to you about the deodorant is doing fine. Even as hot as it is today, the ride to the the bakery, to the discount store, the bread store, it was hot too, but that's good because I intentionally made it hot. I left the air off and, you know, me and my son just took off and, you know, no thanks to GPS, we found the place on our own. So we got that bread in the house. They can let that three loaves last as long as it's going to last. And when that's out, they're going to go back to the bread store from now on. And that's where they're going to get their bread. Five miles from here. Not a long drive. I will not again. So that way I can keep my boycott up of buying, not buying unbread from the grocery store. But what I want to talk to you is something that was really exciting and revealing to me. As part of my research, I have been going on to Amazon because, you know, we also list our, pri our products are available on Amazon. While you may not be able to get a lot of the different sales and stuff that we offer on our regular website, we do have products, you know, we do have our product line available on Amazon. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is that I went to the uh the deodorants offered by other companies who who are offering you know de deodorants that had a similar formula to mine or advertised themselves as being a natural deodorant and what was interesting is what is what's always interesting is what the customers have to say and you know i saw so much of what i have been saying in those comments areas you know what customers say they started with the baking soda it worked good for maybe two months or so and then well the deodorants that contain baking soda let me rephrase that and then it, it started itching and or they got a rash from it and they had to stop using it and then others would say that you know immediately upon using it they experienced rash now what i found was an underlying what was a theme with a lot of people is that they did not realize it was the baking soda causing it so many people were thinking oh i'm just allergic to the deodorant or I'm allergic to the essential oils but not many of them understood that it was actually the concentration of baking soda that they were sensitive to and it wasn't that they were allergic to it they were sensitive to it because like we said baking soda can be abrasive and using too much baking soda in a formula can cause irritation and sometimes it's not even about using too much it could just be irritating because that person is is highly sensitive to it so what I saw though at the same time that I saw these comments and sometimes someone would come on there and say it's the baking soda is that the company itself was not going to any great length to educate their customers who were using their deodorants with baking soda and I felt that that was a big loss as far as natural companies go and I'm going to say something about natural when we look at natural really if you really think about it in the grand scheme of things anything of this earth that's not really uh, you know that we can't say is extraterrestrial or something like that it is natural. 
petroleum comes from is is a byproduct of the earth uh you know the oil that you get is a by, by you know mineral oil it's at some time it was a byproduct of the earth so everything that we use it comes from the earth in some way it may not be it may have been processed to the point where you don't recognize it anymore or the chemical structure has been changed but it started out whatever they used to make it it started out as something natural and i say that to say because i've seen some of them were also saying you would think for a natural deodorant it would work better that you wouldn't have these kind of problems that you wouldn't have irritation and what they miss is that just because it's natural does not mean that it's safe it also does not mean that you can use it, you know, and it does not mean that if you can use it, that you can use it in, you know, doses that are too high, you know. So just because it's natural does not mean it's good. And I think I've said that before in an analogy, poison ivy is natural. So many things are natural, but it does not mean that it's good for you. Same thing when I keep hearing these these advertisements, the ones that I do see for natural deodorants, is always none of the none of the chemicals of you know of the conventional deodorants and blah blah blah. Well, let me re, let me clarify that everything has a chemical structure. So just to say chemicals is not really being um, specific. You know, so there are toxic chemicals, there are non-toxic chemicals. And even when there are toxic, uh, non-toxic chemicals, those, even those non-toxic chemicals can be toxic to someone. You know, that's just like getting stung by a hornet. I get by stung by a hornet, I might be okay. You get stuck by one, stung by one, you may go into anaphylactic shock. When we were coming up, bees would sting us between the toes as we ran through the yard and nothing happened. You know, we got so accustomed to it, it was no big deal. But someone else, one bee sting could have been enough to take them out of here. So again, we have to really think in terms of that when we start thinking about natural things and non-toxic and chemicals and the wording that we use because sometimes it's not correct. And the bad thing about it is that a company has the opportunity to clarify that for its customers, but they don't do that. Instead, they end up using the language that their customers then carry out and use among the people that they know and that they share the information with. So again, there's no such, you don't want to say chemicals. You know, all these, the chemicals in there, of course, they're, they're, they're chemicals, but are they toxic or non-toxic? And, you know, and are they toxic to you or toxic to everyone? You know, so it's just, it's just a whole great, you know, a whole great area there. But, you know, suffice to say, those were some of the, you know, some of the main complaints. I also saw some that said, well, this deodorant doesn't work like the conventional one. It's not as smooth or it's not as soft or it's not as hard. Well, you know, that's the one thing that you're going to have to give up when it comes to a natural deodorant, because you have to look at the fact that conventional deodorants they're using so many different ingredients to get that smoothness that you've been accustomed to that easy to apply that you're giving up a whole lot in the way of then for sure toxicity because they're using so many toxic I mean so many synthetic ingredients to achieve that outcome whereas with natural you're just getting base a lot of times nice raw ingredients that ha don't have any fillers, any additives, any preservatives. So it's just it's just the fa it's just the point of getting accustomed to using something that's a lot more natural. So those are just some of the things that I saw during my research, and I thought it was very interesting that those were the questions posed. You know, I hope to always keep you educated about, you can always send me an email. I have some customers, they send me emails all the time asking me questions regarding deodorant. I mean, right down to how do I get the ants out of my house? I feel those kind of questions because I like to have, you know, involved relationships with my customers when it comes to helping them decide you know what might be best for them in the end they make the decision but I don't mind helping them and sharing with them the knowledge that I have so that's all I have for today on day 19 I will talk to you again tomorrow for day 20 again you can reach us on you can watch these videos on our Facebook page at 90s naturals you can catch us on YouTube at 90 I N A N D I Y A A. please visit our website take advantage of the uh, of our offerings there www.90snaturals.com today is the last last day to get in your request for a tester remember when you place your order just put it in the comments area that you would like a tester sample sent out to you and I'll get that to you we've had I mean amazing requests for it but you know I don't mind today is the last day though take advantage of it this is Nandi I want you guys to have a great Friday I am out